Hello and welcome back to my channel. So it's been pretty rough weather recently, um, pretty shocking even for this part of the world which you know rains and has wind pretty much most of the year but it's been one of the worst springs in a long time so it's been hard to get out and do much but um, there's been a rare break in the, the weather today so I've taken the opportunity just to pop out to the forest um, with the two tuatai um, axes so the camp axe and the work axe and there was a request from one of my, one of my subscribers to do a, a comparison so this isn't an in-depth um, comparison but it's a quick you know overview of just how they look together um, how they perform what they feel like etc so um, Axeman Mike this one's for you so it's just a quick um, overview obviously there's quite a big difference in size this one um, which is the Campax I think it's around 2 kgs um, and the the work axe is around 3 so that's just over six pounds and just over four pounds. Um, so clearly there's obviously a weight difference, but they're both not, I mean, even the Campax isn't a light axe by any means, because, you know, for sure carrying this in today, um, you certainly notice the weight of these two axes in the rucksack. But, um, you know, clearly from a comparison perspective, they look similar in their geometry. Um, this Campax is, derived from Tuatari's racing style so you know it is very much of the same style um, there are some differences the obvious one on the geometry the work axe obviously has cutouts on the actual blade itself you can see the the wings that are being ground out and on the campax we don't have that I mean it's not designed to be uh, it, you know, it's not supposed to be a racing axe or, I guess, really good at bucking or felling. It's just general purpose axe, so there's probably no need to put that extra effort in to grind out the wings. Um, so that is obviously one, ge you know, geometric difference. You can see size-wise quite a difference and there's more of a wedge shape because of that on the it's a shorter um, head so the, the wedge is more pronounced on the Campax interestingly this one that I got the Campax actually has a aluminium wedge um, the work axe came with a, a wooden one um, they're both pinned which is pretty nice I think it's really secure they both come um, numbered and this one obviously got a w on for the work hacks now um the size you can see the comparison there the work axe it's, it's a big axe i mean against most most axes this is a racing based on a racing style these work axes, from what I understand, they're not um, the main difference between that and the actual racing axe is just the grind. Um, from what I understand, I mean, feel free to comment if anyone else knows different, but the steel, the process they use, everything is exactly the same as the racing axes. It's just when they come to the final grind, they put a more forgiving one on this so it can cope with a variety of woods and, and knots, etc., without breaking the edge. And then the racing ones are, are ground more finely. Um, but this, these still come with the ground out wings, which obviously helps with sticking, etc. But, um, you know, I guess arguably for a work axe, that's it's just nice to have rather than um, something that's that important. But, um, you know, it's basically you're getting a racing style work axe. It's the same handle as they have on their racing axes, from what I can see. Um, they've got a really thick, uh, well, big palm swell. And the handle is very sort of wide that way, but very narrow that way. So it's a really positive grip um, and, you know, much like the racing axes. Something I did uh, notice on this one, it's actually more rounded. The profile on the inside of the handle here is more rounded than this one. This one feels sharper in the hand. And I guess that's, you know, these are used well certainly for the racing side 
they used for short um almost like sprints um this one probably maybe designed for using for a bit longer so it's um you know slight it is definitely feels more comfortable in my hand than this one um when you know coming to actually chopping with it i mean this isn't the greatest test i know um forgive me for that but uh it's uh you know this is a bit of spruce that blew down about three years ago it's pretty rock hard really and it's across a trail and no one's bothered to clear it so i'm trying to take some time to clear these trees out of the way because these these footpaths just aren't maintained so you know it's not really what i would have chosen for a um a really in-depth review but it was a good opportunity to get out do some clearing and then just you know see how they look against each other so not really looking at how they perform um as an axe i did have done that already with this campax but really it's just to show the difference between the two um so swinging this one you you know you, you get out of breath because it's a weighty beast um but it feels you know great in your hands and then especially with the longer handle really makes a difference um you just feel more confident swinging this this one you know i finished off the the sort of bucking cut with this one that i started with this and you, you know you once again you feel you want to have a slightly longer handle for that type of of work but then when i you know when you do any sort of limbing it's actually quite nice to have the shorter handle um you know because you, you're going to be working in more closely and you know it definitely a big size axe like this is just very hard to do sort of top limbing um you're clearing a space through you know an overgrown section of forest so um for sure this has got its place in that sort of work um and probably is a better general purpose um for well camping as they've designed it but um um, and you know, it, it's it's. I think it has got its place, and it's it's not it's not up against this one. But um, you know, it's obviously from the same heritage. Um, and you know, there's not actually. I think I said in my video before on this one, there's not really anything in this size of this geometry. You know, it's essentially a mini racing axe. And somebody actually asked me, and on on the video on this, there was a comment about what's the style, and it's quite difficult to answer because you know all you can say is it's a mini racing style axe because um you know to a tie bullet is a camping axe but it's not what you typically see around available for camping tasks you know maybe that still hatchet that i had or um scandinavian forest axe or something maybe those would be more what people would commonly think of as a camping axe but you know this thing it's quite unique and it's it's you know they're out on their, on their own on this one but I, the more I use it, you know, the more I enjoy using it. It was great using this one to do some of the, um, as I say, starting out the the bucking on this this hard stuff. You know, it, it bites. It was biting quite deeply and sticking a little bit as well, just because it's, it's just so rock hard. This stuff, but it was biting in deep, um, and it just swings so nicely. But then when I wanted to, you know, switching over to this, then it felt really nice and light, and it didn't, you know. Clearly, the comparison between these two, this feels really light. Um, but going from like a small forest axe to this, this feels quite heavy. But I think it's all about, you know, how what you get used to. And, you know, I think the more you actually work with this this axe, the more it can feel part of, you know, part of your system. And, you know, you, you get used to the sort of body language of using it. Um, but no, from a comparison perspective, the uh, length quite a difference. Handle geometry is very similar, um, and as I said, it's slightly smooth, rounder on the campax and the work axe. But really, um, the geometry is very, very similar, um, and it's likewise with the head. Um, the steel seems to be the same. Um, very hard beautifully finished um, like a mirror finish came razor sharp and you know after I'd uh, my video on this one after about two or two and a half hours of chopping took it back to the workshop and was still cutting paper the paper I know the paper test isn't conclusive of much but it was certainly didn't seem to have dulled at all so whatever steel 
uh, steel that Tuatara use. Um, it's pretty impressive. So they do, you know, seem to be using exactly the same steel for both of these axes. They've not compromised on this one, from what I can see. Um, I mean, I've never used one of their full racing axes. Um, I don't have a need for that because I'm not a run to timber sports, but. I do love the look of them, and this work axe is, is, is really nice to use. Um, but it is heavy, and you don't want to be using it for a long time, really, I don't think. Um, but, you know, I probably will, at some point, do a more in-depth review of this and the various tasks it can do. But, um, yep, so this is just really a um, get out into the, the woods again, have a bit of a break from being indoors with all the storms and a nice opportunity just to compare the two um so you know just a short video today um so axeman mike hopefully that was of some use um and yours will probably arrive soon anyway so you will let us know what you found and how you found them but um both great axes it's obviously an amazing company know what they're doing and i'm pretty happy to have both these these versions um so yep, I hope that was useful to anyone and you know if anyone has comments or wants to add anything constructive to the discussion then you know we'd welcome that. Um, so I think I think that's it for this week. So thanks for watching and um, see you again next time.